Now, a lifelong friendship on Vancouver Island, one that keeps getting better with age. These are friends that met in 1952, and they have been inseparable ever since. The two have overcome a serious illness, multiple moves, and a milestone 100th birthday together. CTV's Chandler Grieve has more on this one-of-a-kind friendship. She learned that she could communicate. <laughs> she never stopped, and that's just telling me she's hungry. It is the type of communication that comes from spending six decades together. She started school with me and there's still people in Nanaimo that remember Ozzy going to school, grade one and so on. Come on, darling. Oh, good girl. From when Carol Davies first picked up Ozzy back in 1952, the two have walked the earth side by side. It's a lot of bending and, and picking up and a lot of cleaning and, and a lot of work, but Ozzy has just always been part of it. Veterinarians say Ozzy is over 100 years old. Box turtles are known to be able to live well into their second century. And I think you have to have a lot of patience with turtles. But not without a little TLC. For many years I had to give her little injections of antibiotics and, and um, lactated ringers. And she would just come back the next day, you know, and get it again and again. And those health problems are now behind Ozzy. Her appetite for worms certainly back. But along with some sore fingers, there are some sacrifices in this friendship. My travels are totally curtailed until I can find a very responsible and caring uh, turtle caregiver. Ozzy, okay. The years of being the only turtle around are also long gone. The limelight now shared with three other turtles and a pet much bigger than her. Good girl. But the bond between Carol and Ozzy remains as strong as it was 60 years ago. We already are old together and and uh, who knows, you know, 10 years from now if I'll still be able to, you know, get up and down and, you know, change the water dish. But I'm not, a, I'm expecting at least another 10 years and we'll see what happens then. But for her health, she she could just keep going now, so. Proving once again that slow and steady wins the race. Chandler Grieve, CTV News, Nanaimo.